Another episode of Fresh Bar Sports Show. I'm Jabbar Harris. I'm your host and your proprietor. And on this week's episode, we talk about sports and NBA playoffs 2022. You know, uh, first off, just want to dive into the Stanley Cup finals is going on. Boston Bruins going against the um, Carolina Hurricanes. That's what's going on in the NHL world. And um, I just got a question for people. Are, are, are we watching USFL? Uh, are we watching USFL? Like, really? Or, or, or we, Come on, we got enough going on our plate. We got NBA playoffs going on. You know, NFL draft, everything gearing up for the, um, you know, training camp and things of that nature. And they trying to squeeze this extra little football league in, 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 into the matters. Like, come on, people, like, in all due respect, we ain't got time for that. Like, actually, we got watch a thon week going on, free, free movies and TV shows going on and stuff like that. People working overtime, doing things of that nature, vacating, you know, springtime. It's a nice out. Like, nobody really got time for no little uh, bootleg football league, to be honest. Like, I don't really know what this is. The only thing I know about the USFL is uh, they cut one of the players because... You know, when the players didn't like the, the food they was giving the players, they wanted some of the food that they was giving the staff, and they cut one of the players, you know. that 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 That's the only thing I know about them. I see a couple of little highlights and stuff here and there, but, you know, I, I really ain't got time. I got enough on my plate right about now. So, you know, that, that's just my two cents about that. Um, I think I got to mention something about the baseball world for, for a quick second. Like, this baseball player from the Rockies, uh, Colorado Rockies, uh, Charlie Blackman, he's the first active player to endorse a sports booking uh, agency, like represent a sports book, book, booking. He's the first active player to do that. You know, that's kind of frowned upon, you know, with the, excuse me, with the NBA and the NFL. But NBA, and, 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 uh, MLB, they just pre, uh, negotiate their, their, CV, uh, their, their contract to collect them more agreement. And they, they put into the stipulations they allowed it to endorse pretty much whatever they want to do. And like, uh, you know, uh, sports, sports better industry. So that's pretty, pretty crazy. And, you know, besides like uh, nobody really talking about baseball too much besides like the fighting that to be going on because they don't want guys celebrating and stuff out there and taunting and things of that nature. Like, come on, man. Like, let guys celebrate. Let guys uh, be characters out there. Let people put on the show for the fans. That's that's what this game is about. It's for the fans. Like, so let them put a show out there. You know, that's just that's just how I feel about that. You know, somebody could come on here and uh, they uh, disagree, banter with me about that. But um, baseball, they they need to cater to the fans a little more, like how the NBA and the NFL do. You know, that's my two cents on that. Let me dive into the WNBA with a, a topic. Brittany Griner, she's been uh, detained for 75 days plus in Russia. Like, it's, it, it for, it, it's not right what they got her for because she had a weed a pen cartridge in, a, in her bag at the airport. She's still being detained over there. The USA government, I mean, the US government even acknowledged that uh, she's being wrongfully detained. So they need to do what they need to do to get her over there because the WNBA miss her. It's, it's it's crazy, man. I don't know what she was doing over there with taking, you know, the pins, cartridges over there. Maybe she just needed them for for herself, you know, because she's going to be over there for a while. Uh, the reason why she's going over there to play basketball, that's a whole other different story. Like, because, you know, she's making more money over there than the WNBA. But, you know, she wanted to bring up the weed pins with her over there. Got cooked in the airport in Russia. You know, what's going on between Russia and Ukraine. And the U.S. Uh, getting involved, sending, you know, uh, firearms and helping them out, things of that nature, stuff like that. So, um, it's a little murky situation. So, they, they need to do what they need to do to uh, bring her over, bring her back. Because the WNBA, um, this is her presence. And, uh, you know, she needs to come back home. Let's uh, go ahead and dive into a little bit of the boxing real quick before we get to the NBA. Because, uh, man, I tell you, I tell you, it's been crazy right now. Uh, Shakar Stevens, 
he did his thing against uh, Oscar. You know, light work for him. Did what he do. Uh, Shakar Stevens. You know how he gets busy with it. You know, he proposed to his uh, his, his uh, girlfriend after the ring. But it was besides that. That's not even the biggest news of them all. Congratulations for him with, with with all that. But the biggest thing that he made ways for. He's going to say uh, on I Am Athlete that he, uh, basically he wants to fight uh, Tank Davis. Tank Davis don't want no smoke with him, pretty much. In, in, in other words, like Tank, he was saying Tank Davis don't want to fight him. Um, he's willing to fight Tank Davis. And I think people uh, want to see that. I think they should give the people what they want. That would be some hundreds of million dollars fight for them. I'm not saying it's going to be Floyd numbers, but that definitely... At least a hundred million plus, like between them two getting together, you know what I'm saying? Shakira Stevens and Tank Davis getting in the ring, yeah, I think that 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 that'd be an epic fight and something that the, that the fans who you know will, will, will clamor to go see. That's that's that, that that's what I believe. Now we got to get into the uh, Canelo Alvarez going against uh, with the, the Dimitri Bevel. Who 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 is all that coming? Now, my, I, I got a theory. Was he worried about Triple G too much? Was he worried about his next fight too much? Was he worried about uh, the, uh, whoever the, the you, you you saw the 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 the, the UFC champion that he he was talking about fighting at the catch weight that that, that he talked about all these other fights, and he had a fight on Saturday night and and all these rumors about him fighting other uh, other fighters and things of that nature that he's willing to do. And you got to fight in front of your, in front in front of you, like they always say in boxing. Like you know, you got to take the one point at a time. Your opponent in front of you before you you got to take care of this before you can worry about the next one. Like he he let his eyes off the prize. Now the boy Bevel, he's just the same weight as him. He's taller than him. He took him to school. He put him on a boxing lesson. Like he 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 he, he went to work. He he made him look kind of a little foolish out there. A la uh, Floyd Mayweather. Basically, basically, he gave he took a lesson from Floyd Mayweather. He see that was his only loss, and, and see how Floyd w w w was doing it. Obviously, he's bigger, you know, stronger than Floyd, and he uses his little certain things to his advantage with, with, with his power and his, his boxing skill. Like I, I, I was impressed. Who the who the saw this coming? This kid is well, he that kid was uh, thirty one years old, nineteen and oh. Uh, nobody would have really believed him because he had uh, 19 fights. You know, we want to see a little more than that. Who would have saw this coming? I know a couple of uh, guys that, you know, knew about him as of last year, you know, but that's about it. Uh, other than that, nobody nobody saw this guy come, come, coming out of nowhere. So, yeah, man, uh, my, my, my hat's off to him. Congratulations on, on, on that. Now, Kevin, now the, the fight of, the, uh, of, of, of this... Of, of, of this era that that we need, Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence Jr. Like we got, we got to stop playing around. We got to give the people what they want, give the people what they need. Like we we need this for 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 for, for our soul, for our heartbeat. Like, come on, this is for the culture, this is for the world. Like, the people need this. Come on now, stop playing around. Let's get this job done. All these, um, you know, everybody got the different contracts and different agencies they signed to. They need to. Merge the way to get this uh, numbers together and 50 50, however they want. Like, they got to do 50 50, do, do, do the split and get the people what they want. Like, stop playing around. They're like, it's way overdue. Come on, we don't want to see these guys, a uh, Floyd uh, Mayweather, uh, Manny Pacquiao, five years past the prom. Like, we don't want that. We want it right now. Come on now, let's go. All right. Uh, can we talk about the jokage? Went in his second MVP. God dang. They done gave it to him. You know, I was everybody that's watching for first first sports show is following. They know I was going for Joel and B. We'll get the MVP. Now, granted, okay, we can look at the numbers. Sorry, right, I got it. I'm not, saying, I'm not saying the Jokers numbers wasn't better than him. You got the Jokers, you got uh, 28, 28 points a, a game, 13 rebounds, 13.8 rebounds a, a night, 7.9 assists for, for the Jokers. Joel B led the league in scoring 30 point six points a uh, uh, game, 11 rebounds, four assists. All right, come on, those, those, those numbers not too shabby. Now let's break this down. He got the third seed in in, in the East. The Jokers got the sixth seed in the West. Granted, Jokers didn't have the help, but Joel B still put up the numbers that he did put up. 
that's very impressive with the help that he did have. And obviously, we all know the circumstances with, with the situation with Ben Simmons and the, and the trade with James Harden and everything that happened prior to and after that. He had been dealing with a whole lot himself over there and, and, and carried a low and, and still out there performing and, and, and having the Sixers as a, obviously a top seed in the East and putting himself in obviously top three contention in MVP and putting up those numbers. So I'm, I, I'm going to take the winning with, with, with the numbers rather than this guy that's in, 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 in the bottom seed. The numbers is, is, is not far off from each other. They're not far off. Other than this, it's not nothing crazy. And I could say I, I, I'd rather take the, had the three extra points than the, the, the three extra assists. You know, that's, that's how I get busy with it when it comes to the scoring tip. So, you know, that's just my two cents. And anybody who want to disagree, you're welcome to come on and join. And we can discuss who deserved to win the MVP. But, you know, I'm just breaking it down, to, you know, from a from basketball point of view and, and, and how, who, who I want to give the ball to in the fourth quarter, crunch time, game time. You already know, Kobe time. We know what we speak of. Now, this time, I'd like to uh, shout out my sponsors. Uh, need to fit fresh gear, go to Cash Baby Clothing Brand. Want any fresh gear, go to uh, Cash Baby Clothing Brand. Any event planning, go to Wild Production and Events. Need event planning, go to Wild Production and Events. All right, let's get into these playoff matchups. Bucks Celtics. Bucks up 2-1 against the Celtics. I already called it how I see it. I said that this one's. I I said this was gonna be five to one. I mean, this this is gonna be four to one. Game game in five. Onto the cupo, Giannis onto the cupo, and more Giannis onto the cupo. That's all I got to say. I told you the game plan. We already know. Our eyes tell us when we watch it and witness what I've been calling it from the get go. Giannis in the paint, getting wherever he wants. He decides if he want to break, he gonna kick it out to the shoulders, and we gonna do it like that. Nah, stop. Modern day Shaq with the handle. Yeah, I said it. A point play period. That's just what it is. He's getting in the paint, getting whatever he wants to get. And if he wants to break, he's going to kick it out to the shooters for the threes and they knock him down. That's how, that's how he get busy down. And y'all know they play defense. Y'all know they get gritty out there. Y'all know how they do. They they, they, they they getting boards. They blocking shots. They getting at their own defensive end. So, like, let's stop playing around. I tell you, the Bucks is coming out of the East. I meant it when I said the Bucks come out of the East. And how, how his way is looking, they might damn near just have to just run it back when he's left lead. You already know that's where it's going because that's what Andre the Cooper's doing. That's what Andre the Cooper's doing. He's out there doing grown man moves out there. Modern day Shaq with the handle. Point blank period. This series is over. I already called it how I said. There ain't even nothing to talk about. Like I said, I got Andre the Cooper and more Giannis Andre the Cooper. Now, can we go to the, to the Warriors of Memphis? All right, I said this was going seven. I, I, I was I was picking Memphis. I, I, it's not looking too good because we got we got um, De De Dylan Brooks getting suspended for a game, getting ejected for for another game. Damn near, might as well say it was the whole game because it was early, early, so early in the game. So he was out for two games. Dylan Brooks, their best defensive uh, defender, on Steph Curry to lock him down and it, you know make things harder for him and make all this uh, his shooting percentage go down and his shots difficult. You got him out for two games. You got John Moran playing hurt, crying hurt, uh, however you want to call it, you name it. It is what it is. He, he, he's acting like he's not performing to his best self because he, he, he's, like I said, he's crying hurt. It is what it is. My man uh, Blaine let me down from the shooting percentage. You know, he's not really hitting three all like that. I expect him to come, come around and balance everything out and start knocking these jumpers down. And, and give him some power. Power. Hopefully, it, it depends on John John Romain's health. He's not healthy. Uh, the, the series is over. If he if he if he go put his big boy pants on and let him know like um he he's ready for this. He's playing through whatever, and he's still gonna be performing out there like how the greats do it. Then then then, then, then we gonna know if he's the real superstar when he's a young superstars in the league or not, or if he still got some more work to do. We 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 we're gonna see. But like I said, as a whole, I, I, I believe in that, I, I believe in that team as a whole, to be honest. So it's going to get real interesting because, uh, like I said, John Morant health. We don't. It's unpredictable right now. So this next game, I wouldn't bet nothing on it. I'll leave it alone. See how see what John Morant is going to bring to the to the table. See, he got to set the tone. 
He got to let the team know that it's on my back. I'm going to carry y'all to the promised land, and y'all going to turn up with me. I'm, 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 I'm not being passive, aggressive. I'm not passing the ball off. I'm, I'm going to be aggressive. I'm not, I, you know, I'm hurt, but I'm not hurt. I'm ready to go. Things of that nature, that mindset, like, yeah, I'm so be dominating out here. So we're going to see if he, if he do that. If not, man, the words, the words just got to, you know, a, a, a great break. Dylan Brooks being out for two games and then John Moran being hurt. So we're going to see how it turned out from here on now. Yeah, we get into the heat. And to, yeah, we get into the heat. We going to get to the heat now, right? All right. We got the Miami Heat and the 76ers. Man, I, man, I tell you. Joel and B. He's a beast. What are they going to do? What are they going to do with that grown man down there, man? Like, Bam out of the bio. It's too light in, in, in the back pockets for that. He needs some more bricks in the back pocket. Come on now. Well, who, who's stopping Joel down in, in, in the paint? Get whatever we want. He's just coming back, just letting you know that he's just too big out there. And, and if he was out there, to be honest, it would have probably been 3-1. And it probably been three one uh, 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 up on y'all because it's two two whole new series right now. I'm changing things around. Joel B he was hurt from the get go. We ain't was to sure. He was they say out indefinitely. When they say that, you don't know when he's coming back. So that's hard to predict. So I I'm going to lead to the Miami Heat from the river. They going to say the star plays out indefinitely. We don't we don't we don't we don't know when he's coming back. If he's going to come back, that's just a fancy word to say. It's undetermined. So now we're gonna go with Joel and B's back. I don't care if he had fifty percent or not, man. The day nothing, nobody that nobody on it. He could do anything with that man. Clearly, we watching the games, we seeing it. This is Joel and B hurt. Not trying to get too much physical contact because because he don't want to you know get anything hurt to the to the eye or nothing like that. Even though he got the mask, he ain't trying to take another hit to the, to the face like that. But he's still putting up work. Letting y'all know he was here the whole time. This would have been a Whole complete different story. Y'all South Beach boys, man, y'all better watch out, man. It's getting real scary for y'all because man, I know some people wish they was going to be at Eastern Conference Finals down there at South Beach, turning up and having a good old time at the South Beach. But, uh, man, the way the Sixers is playing right now, they might try to be representing the Eastern Conference Finals. Yeah. Joella B stays healthy on that court. Seven Sixers going to be representing the Eastern Conference Finals. Miami Heat. Joel, don't let Joel be, be on his court for, 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 the, for these next games that we got out there. This next best out of three. Don't let Joel B be on the court for these best out of three games. Because it's a wrap for y'all Miami Heat. Believe that. Now we're going to go to not last, not least. <laughs> but it's the Mavs, of course. And the Suns. But now this is... It, it, I, I, I called it to be in five. I thought this was a laughable series. I thought, you know, this was a joke, to be honest. But, man, they, they don't show me a little something. You could, he showed me a little boxy out there. He showed me, no, you know what I mean, he got no back down in him. You know what I mean? He ain't got no let up in him. You know, so I like what I'm seeing. I need to see some defense out of him. We all know that. But as uh, far as the offense wise, he's like, you know, he's bringing it. He's bringing it. But so... I respect what he's doing out there. I, I, I you know, that, that's my first time in a while letting you know, or my probably my first time at all letting you know. I, you know I'm, I'm giving him some respect out there because he gave me some consistency with this playoff run that he that he's doing with the Mavs, and um, that's all you can ask for out, out, out of any superstars. You no, know, just you need that level of consistency. That's all we ask for, night in and night out. You know, especially when it matters the most, can you get the job done when we need you the most? That's all we ask for. But it's a good series though. But Suns still still gonna take this. So was that, you know, I know they got to get some things in, in, in order in the Phoenix CP3 got some incidents going on with the family member and the fans and stuff like that. They, you know, he got to get his head back in the game. But uh, once he gets his head back in the game, they're going to rally the troops and, you know, get the job done and uh, take this home in six. Do it like that. Just take this home in six. Stop playing around with these guys. Stop playing around with these guys. But, yeah, this is nice. This is fun, man. Had to get the sports off my off my chest, man. There's so much we're going on. This is a great time to just be in the sports world. We just got so much going on. The NHL uh, finals is going on. You got you got uh, you know baseball going on. NFL season getting gearing up. You got uh, NBA playoffs going on. You got boxing, good, good boxing matches going on, man. It's just a thing to do that right now. Kentucky Derby right now. Oh man, the uh, Rich, Rich, uh, what was the league? Rich, Rich Strike. This guy won the Kentucky Derby. Yeah, um, 
unexpectedly a major upset. It, 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 it was crazy. Like whoever betting on him, they want some buku money. Yeah, it's like that. Man, this is a good, great time to be a sports fan. That's what we do this for, man. That's what this is all about. Just some good sports, just, just kick back and relax, and just, you know, just get your mind at ease and just, you know, watch some great athletes competing at the high level and just, you know, root, 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 root for whoever interest that you got or you just, you know, just watch it, just let it load off, you know, just just enjoy yourself, man. We just, this sports world is great. We've got plenty of options, man. Just come and join it, man. This is what it's about. But, uh, this is fun. This is nice. We're going to let this cook, let this marinate, let this bubble up. We're going to keep giving people what they want. Stay tuned for some more episodes of Fresh Sports Sports Show. We got some special guests coming up soon, so just stay tuned. We got this thing coming.